guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you how to install exhaust on your Honda Rockers. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my Rockers build series. So today I'm going to show you how to install exhaust on your Honda Rockers. The tools you will need guys, you need exhaust of course, you need some wrench in the sockets and the gloves just not to get dirty. generator to make it looks everything convenient and awesome and fans and lights so we just So there's only four bolts holding the whole thing together. The two of them are actually on the side under the that thing. I don't know what it is. Some kind of filter thingy. Radiator. Radiator. And then two under by the engine right there. Uh, it's very easy to remove it and really easy to install it. But actually I did research uh, in YouTube and there's nobody did this before. So I said why not? I'm going to help you out guys. How to do it? And get some extensions too to make it much easier. You know how you know if somebody's still in your generator? No. Everything will win off. <laughs> the lights and everything. I got this exhaust because you're actually gonna see it somewhere over here. It's pretty small. So when I get the fatty kit and stretching and all that stuff, it's not gonna be touching it. And I didn't really want to spend two hundred dollars on exhaust. Because usually they sell them for performance and I don't really care about that. I just want to make it look more clean. There you go. That's the top, that's the bottom. Maybe 10 millimeter the holding it exhaust and the bottom. So 12 on the side and 10 under. So it's gonna be like this to right here and that should be pretty easy to remove them just give a little bit more pressure on it and it will just pop isn't it crazy how easy it is right not like in the car you know babe In the car you have to like lift the whole car up and do all this stuff and here you don't have to do that. It's exactly if it doesn't go out, uh, the oil dipstick here, if you just remove it first, just a little bit, give it a slap, and then you put it back. There goes your exhaust. Just please be careful because it's so hot. So if you drove it for a long time, it's gonna burn you. I didn't drove it that far, so it's actually, I mean, it's warm, but it's not gonna burn me or anything. So that's it. You think I have to put these things on? What is that? Is it a gasket? I think it is a gasket. And what is that? Look at that. What do you think? It's so that compared to that. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But hey, if that works, I don't care. $80 to do that, why not? Let's see. Oh, they're already got to get already there. Looks like. I guess that's just the extra pieces from the top of the 
So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this miniature muffler out and you're gonna just spin it into the exhaust. Some people actually uh, paint it, I probably will paint it a little bit later, black, but I have to buy paint that is heat resistant. Right now I don't really care. And it will sit something like that. How tiny it is, isn't it? It's crazy. See that? Ta-da! Okay, let's install it back. Everything goes in reverse. Okay, so you're gonna install the SARS back. Uh, you don't have any other flanges here to put in the side bolts, so you can take the bolts away and just put them with your stock exhaust. The only two bolts going to hold it together is go by the engine, which is those things, and they're going to go right where you just removed them from, and that's it. So you're going to put them right here, line up everything. And you're gonna screw the bolts right here. Just put it there, don't tighten it yet. And then when you line up everything, then you can tighten it. And then you take your 10 millimeter and and you can tighten it if I need you. Can't reach it. <laughs> That's funny. That's only two bolts holding it together. Yeah. Make sure that they're tight so that you fall off. <laughs> That'll be funny. That was it guys, it took us about 15 minutes to do it, there's only 4 bolts, 2 on the side, 2 on the bottom by the engine, but when you install this exhaust, it's only 2 bolts holding it like I said previously, it's only by the engine. Just line up, tighten it all together, and that was it. If you guys have any questions, comment below, subscribe, tell me what do you think, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace out.